Hello folks, this is a video showing my latest project which is a ESP8266 displaying weather underground data on a ILI9341 TFT display. This is what the uh, display normally looks like. It's a four day forecast today and the next three days uh, it displays high and low expected temperature, expected weather, humidity, wind direction and rain, probability of rain. There's a scrolling weather forecast in the centre and it gives sunrise, sunset, moonrise, moonset, moon phase and percentage illumination. At the top right is the weather underground icon which is required to keep yourself within the terms and conditions of weather underground, displaying weather underground data and you will need to get a Weather Underground a developer's API key which you can get free of charge by going to their web page and signing up as a developer. There it is running and uh, it receives the um, via the Weather Underground API so I did a reset here just starting from from beginning. The decoding takes a few seconds so there it is running. It's uh, decoding the um, using the Weather Underground API and extracts the data from the JSON uh, string. Uh, I'm just pointing out some of the areas there on the display. The Weather Underground icon is required to use the data. That's part of their terms and conditions. So that's that's put up. To get the weather icons into onto the ESP8266, you do need to upload them, which I demonstrated in my previous video, and I'll put the, all of the icons onto the the GitHub, which you'll find in the link below in the normal places. Um, the weather forecast line there just scrolls away, and it's Weather Underground's forecast. It's no one else's. Uh, it's a three-day forecast. Um, what else can I say? Notice that um, on the bottom lines here, the um, there's a, there's a subtle difference that Weather Underground used for 20% probability of four millimeter of rain, or if they don't know how much rain, they just say it's 10% probability of rain. So that's why there's that uh, difference. So there it is, um, a continuous scrolling, updates every 30 minutes or however many how quickly you want it to do that. That's how you connect the display to the ESP, either a WeMOS or a Node MCU. The data pins are identical. Um, I hope you find it useful and enjoy. If you, if you use the code, enjoy.